very good morning friends this is a very important video for all the gst taxpayers who are now finalizing their gstr 9 and gstr 9c for financial year 21 22 which is required to be filed by 31st of december 2022 friends as you know that most of the gst notices nowadays are based on analytics of the data which you fill in in GSTR 1, 3B, 9, 9C and data which the department gathers from various other sources. Hence, while filing GSTR 9 and 9C which is the last return for financial year 21-22, one needs to take care so that uh, one can avoid at least auto generated data analytical notices under GST for financial year 21-22 due to the filing of 9 and 9C. On your screen, you can uh, see a uh, extract of such a notice. We will put in 5 important points which you need to consider while you are reviewing for finalization your 9 and 9C at this time of the year for financial year 21-22. First and foremost, table 8D of GSTR 9. It needs to be ensured that table 8D of GSTR 9 is uh, not negative. Now, what is table 8D? It is 8A minus 8B minus 8C. That is the ITC which uh, is reflected for financial year 21-22 in the GSTR 2A minus what you have availed in all other ITC in your GSTR 3B for financial year 21-22 minus what ITC with respect to 21-22 you have claimed in the 3B from April to November 2022. This would give a figure auto generated in 8D. So, if you have claimed more ITC in 8B and 8C than what is reflected in your 2A, it would give a negative figure which one needs to avoid. Now, there can be a genuine reason for such a negative figure. For example, say certain stock was in transit on uh, 31st of March 2021, that is the last year, but you have got the stock and taken the ITC in April 2021. Therefore, your 2A would not reflect such an ITC for financial year 21-22 but 6b and correspondingly table 8b would reflect such an itc and could lead to a negative figure in 8d similarly for any services pertaining to 21 22 which is reflected in 2a of uh, 2021 but itc you have taken in 21 22 that could lead to a negative figure in 8d hence it is important to call out these kind of transactions which are genuine, right? I am not saying that these are faulty transactions, you are eligible, but there is a timing gap or any other reason for which you have taken the credit rightfully in 21-22, but it could lead to a negative figure in 8D and it could lead to an auto generated or uh, Notice on the basis of data analytics if the amount is uh, quite large. Therefore, it is important that such transactions be culled out and be reported separately in table number 6 or table number 13 of uh, GSTR 9C and GSTR 9 so that table 8D is not negative and the other tables are also taken care of as per the instructions of GSTR 9. 
another important issue we all know who are importing certain goods is that uh, there were many bill of entries which were not reflected in the GSTR 2B at the fag end of uh, financial year 21-22. But you had the bill of entry, you had the duty paying uh, document with you that is the chalans and you have taken the credit of import of the goods on the basis of IGST paid as per your bill of entries but which were not reflected in your GSTR 2B. Therefore, in table 8i which uh, requires the amount of IGST you have taken as ITC in case of imports, there you need to show this amount although it is not reflected in your GSTR 2B for that year. right? And correspondingly, since once the data analysis is done, the department would not find such a amount in your GSTR 2B. So, it is important that uh, you file a suomoto note while filing your GSTR 9C because GSTR 9C gives you an option to file your uh, submissions along with your financial statement. So, it is important to file a submission in this regard that while your GSTR 2B has not reflected certain imports, yet you have taken it on the basis of uh, the bill of entries and uh, the chalans paid in customs which are a duty paying documents as per the GST laws. Third important uh, fact to remember is that the ITC reversals which uh, you report in table 7a to 7h and the total of which is reflected in 7i that matches with the cumulative amount reported in table 4b1 and 4b2 of GSTR 3b filed by you. Now, again there can be many transactions which you have netted off in your GSTR 3B with table 4A. For example, in case a customer issues you an invoice and thereafter a GST credit note, you may have netted it off under table 4A of GSTR 3B. Although this is not the right way to do it, we all know after circular 170, but maybe for financial year 21-22, you have netted it off in table 4a. In that case, do not report it in table 7, but report it as a netted off figure in table 6 of GSTR 9 itself. Because the moment your table 7i is more than 4b of GSTR 3b, then it may lead to a generation of a notice in GST. Fourth important point to remember is table 8E of GSTR 9 that requires the reporting of ITC available in your GSTR 2A, but not availed by you. There can be a situation for example, again I am taking stock in transit. In March 2022. So, on 31st of March 2022, certain stock was uh, in transit, then you will take it in 22-23, but it would reflect in your GSTR 2A of 21-22. Hence, this amount as per the GSTR 9 form instruction, you need to report in table 8E. However, the moment you report this in table 8e, then it would lead to an auto populated figure in table 8k, which states that it is an ITC lapsed. However, actually it is not so. You would be taking this ITC in the next financial year 22-23. Therefore, it is important that if you file something and report something in 8e, Therefore, in GSTR 9C, 
you need to file a submission and an attachment that actually this 8k is not itc lapsed but it is something which you will take in the next financial year 22-23-9. Fifth and last important point is an amendment in GSTR 9C in uh, financial year 21-22. If you see table 9 of GSTR 9C where you disclose the amount of GST paid or payable, you will see a new row K1. Friends, this is a row to report any other rate of GST, a special rate. For example, for uh, companies which are into implementation of solar panels, 70 percent of the taxable value would be regarded as goods taxable at 5 percent and 30 percent of the taxable value would be regarded as services taxable at 18 percent and hence the taxable value for implementation of solar panels and the tax rate would be calculated as a composite rate of 8.9 percent. This would now be reported in K1 of table 9 of GSTR 9C which is a new introduction in this year's GSTR 9C. So friends, these are 5 very important points to remember while filing 9 and 9C. Stay tuned for uh, further updates on GST, customs, income tax, DGFT related issues. Please do like, share and subscribe to this channel for uh, best updates and maximum dissemination of knowledge. Thank you very much.